here we have purple being the dominant and yellow being the recessive. A cross between purple flowered plant and yellow flowered plant gave you some that became purple and some that became yellow. So since you had two different phenotypes, that means that the parent plant that was purple was heterozygous. So that means that P1, or the P generation basically, was capital P, small p for the purple plant, and small p, small p for the yellow one. Let's not make them into gametes, so capital P, this is the parent generation. So capital P, small p, small p. Now if they mate, you will get capital P, small p, small p, small p. That means you should get half to be purple and half to be yellow. So that means if you had 146 seeds, half will be purple, which is 73, half will be yellow, which is the other 73. We call these numbers the expected numbers because this is how much we expect. But we are actually observing something else. We're observing 87 purple and 59 yellow. So the observed is 87 purple, 59 yellow. Now their question says, calculate the chi-square value, right? Um, so, the equation for the chi-square value is the observed minus the expected squared over the expected. Then, observed minus expected squared over the expected. Let's now do the math. And I got 5.369, but the question says round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to make it as 5.3 or 5.4 also correct.